All right, guys, model rock three, two, one here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about small model rockets. But before we do that, hey guys, hit that subscribe button and thumb up the video. Also, ring the bell notification so you can receive notification that a new video is up. We got a lot of new stuff coming up, so stay tuned. Also, be sure to use my Estes discount code. You can see that on the screen right now. It is I N underscore three, two, one. Go ahead and use that. Get yourself a nice discount over at Estes when you place an order. Fill your shopping cart up, put the code in, it'll fix you up right there on the spot. So, all right, let's get to this. So, we're going to look at some rockets today that are tiny, tiny rockets. Some of these I don't consider really small, like the Alpha. I mean, you can fly this in, in a small park field on an A engine, but I wouldn't go any larger because this rocket, the Alphas can really get away from you. They're lightweight. They fly really high. You put a C engine in there, you're looking at probably 1,200 feet. Like you don't get a thousand feet launching. If you're new and you don't keep an eye on it, you will lose it. It can drift away on you. So I would not put the Estes in. I mean the Alpha in this category. I'll move that one over here. But everything else, I do put in that category. However, I have seen this little mini Mars lander. This is the mini Mars lander. It flies on the small 13 millimeter engines. It flies on the A10 3T and those type of engines. These small guys. This rocket goes really high, so you pick a lower 13 millimeter motor if you have a small flying field with you know trees and stuff, small park flyer. You don't want to go too high with these, even with these mini ones, because you can definitely lose them. Um, one that is notorious for getting lost is the mosquito. Getting lost is the mosquito. It flies on 13 millimeters. I call these the vanishing mosquitoes because these things they leap off the pad and they're hard to spot. I mean tumble recovery but you can get them you can find them just keep your eye on it quick launches but they can get away from you tiny tiny rockets here we're talking small small rockets here's the quark this is an estes classic now i mean he's been around for a good while i've seen these get upscaled and everything so the quark is another fun one tumble recovery it goes up the engine up this it kicks out the back and then they just tumble back to the ground a lot of times the engines can stay in these, I believe, or they do kick out. I believe they kick out in the other tumble uh, recovery. I don't do many tumble recovery rockets, so I'm not here. I was younger when I used to fly these way growing up back east, and I have lost <laughs> lost these things way back in the day. They were like a dollar fifty or something like that. These were cheap rockets. You can get out there and fly in one day. Um, fly, I mean, build it and fly it in the same day. You know, pretty much no primer and just really quick paint, brush paint if you want, but spray it. The old school one, I think it was black and yellow, so... The Quark, you got that guy there, the Mosquito. Another small fun one is this right here. Estes had these in a two-pack. Um, these are two X-Wing fighters. This one is incomplete. It has top fins that go, two bottom fins and two top fins, and it has this pod that it would kick out under streamer. It had this metal piece, I guess, to keep the center of gravity right, but it would kick this out. The engine would go in there. So this is another small flying field rocket for sure. Um, a lot of fun. These are cool. I've seen these. I've never flown these, but I've seen them fly. They, they, they perform, really, perform really well. So that's another small one. Then we have these mini boost gliders. Here you have this flies on a 13 millimeter engine also. Another small little boost glider that can, um, lightweight, but this can get up there. It's small, but it can get up there pretty good. This can fly really high. So, and it's, as it does its glides, make sure you have enough room to recover. You don't want it to come down and, you know, in the street or anywhere away from your recovery area. So small boost gliders, 13 millimeters. Then just some small, small, small. This is another mosquito, but tiny. This thing is how tall is this? Two inches, I think it's this two. Yeah, it's about two inches. Yep, exactly two inches tall. This is a small rocket. I mean, small. This is the regular standard size mosquito. And look at that one right there. Super small. And this flies on a, oop, dropping. This flies on a Apogee engine. I'm not even sure if these are still being sold. This is a half A. It says what it says. A quarter. No, yeah, it's a quarter A. Two dash two. So it's a two second delay on this tiny little micro engine. And I'm talking small stuff, but I don't even have the smallest of the small rockets. There are some mac, uh, micro max rockets that even smaller than these. I mean, you got tiny, tiny engines that are just super small. So these are small, but they're not the smallest. Also have this small V2. Look at that. And that don't even, that's my, it flies on something small. I think it's like a 10 millimeter. That's probably only even smaller than a um, 13 millimeter engine. So I have this little V2 here. It flies on another small engine and it recovers. Has a little streamer in there. Small guy. In the palm of my hand, look at that. Small V2. Small V2. 
I flew this recently. If you check one of my recent videos, this is the Pipsqueak Quest Pipsqueak Super High Flying Rocket. I'm not sure if this is considered small or a part flyer. Maybe on an A engine, B engine will send it really good. I'm pretty sure the A engine will put it up there pretty good also. But a C, use a C67, you pretty much get an out of sight flight. You got to keep an eye on it and you'll get a streamer. I have a long streamer in here. So the Pipsqueak is another class one. This is a mini um, ASP. This is a scale model based on a US sounding rocket, research rocket, 13 millimeter, super performer. Engine goes in there, this will fly pretty much out of sight itself. So these are just some small rockets, guys, small. What else we got here? We already went through the Quark. This guy right here, look at this, this is the Mini Cobra. Um, it's a rocket I had when I was really, really young. Um, two stage mini engines, two stage. So you get a um, mini engine, it has a, a streamer up top, pop and go. Keep an eye on the fins when they land. If you have tall grass and stuff, make sure you have people helping you spot. So the Mini Cobra right there, when we're considering the small ones. And this Bomart is a small, but it flies on uh, standard like A, B, and C engines. It's a scale model of the U.S. missile. There's a Canadian version of this. Some other countries, I think, use the Bomart missile also. So this is small, and I'm considering it small because I think it's under a foot. It's under a foot. I'm just calling under a foot small, I guess. Yeah, it can be, you know, yeah, it's definitely, um, definitely on the smaller side for a bow mark. They have some big ones out there when it comes to scale. You can fly in these really big. Then we just have there. This is like the SD Streak. It reminds me of the Streak. Um, this kit wasn't mine originally. I acquired this one. But yeah, it looked like it's the SD Streak. If you remember the Streak from the 80s, um, probably even earlier than that, it's a black and white paint scheme. Another super flying rocket, similar to the Mosquito. Here's a Mosquito. Here's the uh, Streak. Similar, but this has the longer, longer fins. I guess it's a super high flying design. So yeah, we covered all these guys. This is just a random creation of a clear mosquito. You can get a 13 millimeter engine in there. You you can kind of see it. Here's an N13 mil engine. You can put that guy in there like that, and you can kind of see it. You can do a friction fitter. You can put a little piece of tape on the sides and get it to stay in. But this is like a mini mosquito on a clear tube. And this rocket here I brought out, this is one I had sold on eBay years ago and I recently got it back, considered peanut scale. So this is a scale model, just smaller. It's more than the 12 feet, so that's why I have it off to the side, but it's considered small for a Saturn 1. I guess it's a Block 2. Which one? I think this is um Saturn 1 Block 2. So very nice rocket, but on the smaller side. It's on the smaller side, but more than a foot though, more than a foot for a scale, you know, so it's kind of consider it peanut scale. This is another contraption. This, another, this rocket was not mine. I believe it was a kit. It could be an old Apogee kit, but I'm going to show you something. It's a two-stager. I have a vent here. Um, this will fall back, but look at this engine. Look at this engine. This is an old Apogee engine. This is a B29 engine. Look at that small little hole right there. So this is just a very old school engine. It's two-stage. There's another engine that will go below. You can see it has a vent hole there, so I guess the gas would have to travel to hit this. It would kick this pod off, and then this piece, the sustainer booster rocket, will go, go, go for the sustainer. This is the booster. So just various rockets using small engines or small rockets. That's what this video is about, just the small rockets, guys. Small guys. You don't have to have the big, big rockets. If you have a small flying field, that's where these come in handy. Put the smallest engine in them. Just have some fun. Cheap. A lot cheaper than um, flying anything else. So... Then this guy right here is a contraption by uh, Mr. Roger Cozy, rest in peace. This rocket was given to me as a gift, it was his. And it's just one that I cherish that I keep up on the shelf. It's not gonna be flown, but it flies on 13 mil engines. Yep, so you can friction fit that engine in there. I believe there's a parachute in here. Yep, there's a parachute in there. So just a cool, cool rocket. Cool, cool design from the 50s, got that 50s look to it, all silver. A lot of fun, real cool rocket. So that's the video for the guys. I just wanted to show you guys some small rockets. This is the smallest one here, two inch tall. But like I said, they get smaller than this. You can find the Micro Max uh, stuff by Quest, and those rockets are even smaller than these, or the engines are. So that's the video for today. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell notification. Use a discount code over at Estes. Share the video, check me out on Instagram and TikTok, all Model Rocks 321. And we will be back with more. Stay tuned.